Howdy, folks. We're inside this here museum now, combing the place for clues. This is where the Moaning Liza used to hang, Yogi. Maybe the governor gave her a reprieve. Quit clowning, Yogi. We need to search every nook and cranny. Crooked nannies, eh? Okay, sister, that means you. Huh? Where was you on the night of the third, the fourth, the fifth? Oh, pleading the fifth, eh? Don't deny it. There's guilt written all over your face. She's not your faith, but me and Pa seen the whole dead gum robbery. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. Well, the burglar was that no good pink pussycat, and he had a shadow. But everybody has a shadow. But this shadow was different, like a real clod. But when the pink pussycat escaped, the shadow got locked inside the museum, and he's still in here hiding somewhere. I think he's behind that curtain. I'll do the thinking around here, Flinker, and don't you forget it. Well, I'll be. It's the shadow of the pink pussycat in the flash. Except in his flash, it's hard to see through. Ergo, all we need to do is find who matches up with said shadow. And Viola, we found our villain. How comes it, guys? I've been in the powder room admiring my profile. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh! Gee, Snoop, a perfect match. That's the pink pussycat. He's the robber. Who? Moi? You must be pulling my leg, my tail, my tootsie even. This is no joke. You are under arrest for the theft of the morning Liza. How is the burglar, Troy? Our top story tonight, Snagglepuss the mountain lion was charged today with stealing the morning Liza. We now go to the Bastille in Paris, where his trial is about to begin. Hear ye, hear ye. This court is now in session. All rise for the right dishonorable judge, Hokey Wolf, presiding. Hey, sorry I'm late, folks. I would have been here sooner, but I was busy tampering with the jury. What a bunch of softies. You're beautiful guys. Don't change a thing. Oh. So let's get this lynch mob rolling. How does the defendant plead? How do I plead? On bended knee, gravel, and all the way. Excuse me, Your Honor, sir, but my client pleads temporary insanity. How do you know he's insane? He hired me as his lawyer. Overruled. But, Judge, I'm as innocent as the driven snow, the sleet, the slush, even. I'm not guilty of anything. Let's have some order here. Order in the court. I'll have a chili cheeseburger to go. Make mine a double, but easy on the onions. Yes, sir. Touche away. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. After you stole the painting, exactly where did you hide it? But I didn't steal it for Pete's sake. For Pierre's sake, even. You've got the wrong citizen. That's what they all say. But I'm telling you the truth. And if I'm not, may I be struck down on this very spot by Halley's Comet. <laughs> Allow me to rephrase my last statement. Gentlemen of the jury, it's time for you to reach a verdict. Guilty! I object! Overruled! The defendant has been found guilty as charged. And so, Snagglepuss, this court sentences you to the guillotine. Heavens to Adam's apples. I thought the guillotine was outlawed centuries ago. It was. But in your case, we'll make an exception. Case closed. So, at dawn tomorrow, Snagglepuss will go to the guillotine. Until that time, he's being held in the Bastille dungeon, along with two other convicts, Dastardly and Motley. Well, it's about time. We've been locked up in here the entire show. That's a farce and a rotten script. There's not only that, we're being guillotined at dawn along with you. What do they charge you with? Jaywalking. God, these French have stiff fines. 